So today we're in front of uh, the walk-in charity shop on the Hollywood Road. Uh, Belfast and Lisbon Community Group uh, funds are raised on a weekly basis using um, recycled and second-hand items um, to help fund uh, projects giving homeless people um, accommodation and, and education, uh, giving them a better chance to get away from where they are. We're here in East Belfast, uh, just off Newton Ars Road where both sides of this street, this alleyway, have, have completely empty buildings, about two stories in height, and they, they go all the way down. And they're in behind them, places where people have just been dumping old stuff, and there's, there's so much opportunity for, for living space here, um, because there's residential areas behind, in front, and businesses on both sides. You can clearly see one side of the street from here has absolutely nothing going on, despite over there, everything being completely full and busy. So it's, it's a wonder to think that in, in an area that's so highly populated that these places can't be filled with people who need them more because otherwise they're just sitting empty and ruining an area which is otherwise quite quite lively and populated to be honest. So we've just been in New Nars Road and now we're going to head towards Crumlin Road to see uh, another space where uh, it's basically just empty so we'll see when we get there. This absolutely huge building. Here on the Crumlin Road, we've come to look at uh, another space which is quite a significant spot in terms of empty rooms which could otherwise be better filled. And uh, although you can't see the spot right now, all you have to do is look over here, all the way along the block is completely empty lots which could be used for business or anything, but instead are being left completely empty. And then uh, to an even greater extent, when we get over there, you'll see just how, how much empty space there is on this road which could be put to good use in terms of accommodation or even just temporary living space for people, um, hostels, anything like that. Um, just something to help people get off the street. So that there are volunteer opportunities. You can, you can donate, you can, you can buy from the charity shops or you can even take part and actually work in there as well. So there are plenty of opportunities and plenty of chances that you can make a difference. The first homelessness bulletin uh, published by the Department for Communities uh, declared that in between April and September in 2018, nearly 10,000 people could have been considered homeless in, Bel in Belfast and Northern Ireland. Um, of those 10,000 people, 70% actually meet the statutory definition for homelessness, um, which means they're either living in temporary accommodation or something that's generally not suitable. Um, and the fact that com accommodation is considered unsuitable is the main reason why these people are considered homeless. And then on top of these statistics, um, the report doesn't actually take into account that a lot of these people uh, may be sleeping rough because one night in November 2018, um, it was found that 16 people um, that were found out on the streets were sleeping rough and had nowhere to go at all. As of January 2019, um, 2,065 households were considered uh, temporary accommodation, so not even, not even suitable for full time. Um, and that doesn't even take into account places like this, which are enormous in comparison to normal households and completely empty. We've already seen a few of these, and this is. I can't even judge how many you could fit in here, but it's, it's completely void of, of, of human life. A lot of these, these situations um, people find themselves in when they're considered homeless is that uh, families have broken down or housing hasn't worked out or financial situations. And out of all the areas considered in the report by the Department for, for Communities, Belfast was found to be the highest um, in terms of how many people per thousand were, were considered homeless and Lisburn came second with, with the Sim quite similarly high levels of homeless of homeless number. It's important to note as well that while sleeping rough is is the the main um, consideration when people think about the word homelessness, it's not just that. It's people living in temporary accommodation or hostels or volunteer areas. It's not just people who are sleeping on the street. And while that does happen, there are more than just those people who need help. And places like this, lying completely empty, could be could be the answer for these people. But we don't we don't see anything changing. The Belfast and Lisburn Community Project. Um, there is hope for places like this and, and, and people in any situation of homelessness, not just sleeping rough, that there may um, be a way out, that there may be a solution, that there may be a new circumstance to enter into, um, that you don't have to worry about where you're going to be and you don't have to worry that your accommodation is only temporary. There's a, there's a, um, a new opportunity and a new chance to see something more permanent and uh, to get yourself back on your feet and, and to be in a place you can be sure you're going to stay in.